Nice to see you again. Whenever you save information to M files, you will encounter something called a metadata card. Now, what is a metadata card and what is it used for? Follow me and I'll tell you. Whenever you're saving something, you'll be greeted with a metadata card. On this card, you describe what this object is, what it relates to, and how it should be managed. Now, what is metadata? Metadata is descriptive information of what an object is and what it relates to. It is also used for automating routine tasks such as permissions, workflows, and searches for you and your colleagues. So, once you've filled in the necessary information, you can save your document. And the more information you give, the easier it is for you and your colleagues to find the information in the future. Now, let's take a closer look at the metadata card and what kind of information you can find on it. Starting from the top, you can see what sort of object you're dealing with. For instance, this one is a document. You can also see who has created the object and who last modified it and when. This is very helpful for understanding who was involved in the document and when. And all of this is recorded automatically when creating and modifying objects. Here, in the middle of the metadata card, you can find descriptive information about the object. These are called metadata properties. You can also open the objects the document is related to directly from the metadata card, for instance, a project or a customer. Now, a difference between a project and the document, for example, a project plan, is that a project plan has a document attached to it, while the project consists only of metadata. Objects in mFiles can be almost anything, documents, pictures, videos, and so forth. But sometimes they're just metadata. There are many fileless objects, such as project, customer, and contact person. So, one of the key benefits of mFiles is that information is linked and related to each other through metadata. Let's have a quick look at what else you can do with the metadata card. From these buttons here, you can pop out the metadata card if you need to move around in mFiles while having the card follow you. You can also pin the object to access it faster from the pin tab. And you can follow the object if you want to get notified when the document is modified. Other notable features on the metadata card are the permissions, which tell you who can read, edit, or delete this object. You can also see if the object is put in a workflow a quick word about workflows. They are used for automating and controlling the life cycle of an object, like here. With workflows, people can collaborate by pushing it forward in your organization's processes. Metadata cards are important because everything in mFiles is managed and organized with metadata. Now you know what metadata cards are and why they are so important. Go ahead and watch another video if you want to learn more about mFiles, and I'll be there waiting for you.